Science starts with measurement. Uh, in modern days, especially in molecular biology, uh, there are two aspects. One is uh, uh, in the lab bench and another one is the computational science or bioinformatics. Now, when working in the lab bench, the different molecular biology methods we use, uh, basically first um, comes the micropipetting. Uh, in this lecture, I will try to explain uh, the different types of uh, micropipettes. Uh, what is the need of micropipetting, uh, where it differs from normal pipetting methods and how to uh, take the reading. Basically, in uh, chemical and biochemical sciences, uh, transfer of liquids uh, is a very uh, important aspect and pipetting uh, helps us uh, to uh, perform that. Basically, it uh, helps to measure uh, liquids precisely uh, it uh, helps to uh, measure uh, all these uh, liquids in, uh, in a, with accuracy and in a control uh, way. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it also helps to uh, perform uh, different kind of uh, scientific experiment, particularly uh, minimizing errors uh, due to the measurement. Uh, one thing we have to be uh, very careful that pipette is an instrument and whether pipetting uh, is the method or the process by which we actually transfer uh, liquids. Now uh, to uh, do this like uh, to classify uh, basically uh, pipetting uh, is mainly of two types one is the, in terms of volume measurement and another one is in the term of uh, like how to handle uh, this process. Uh, when we talk about the volume measurement, these are basically two types. One is the macro pipetting, other is the micro pipetting. Uh, and in terms of handling, one is the manual one, another one is the automated one. Now, in this lecture, yeah, as we are dealing with mainly molecular biology context, uh, we will mainly focus on micro pipetting. But before uh, going uh, directly discussing about micro pipetting, we uh, have to know what are the utilization of uh, all these kinds of uh, pipetting types. Uh, macro pipetting is generally we do in the uh, chemistry and uh, like uh, and when working with uh, you know, relatively higher volume of uh, liquids um, and basically uh, 1 ml, 100 ml and all that stuff using uh, beakers, uh, measuring for cylinders. Uh, so these are the mm, uh, main apparatus of uh, pipetting or we can say Micro pipetting, and uh, whether in micro pipetting we use a specialized instrument uh, that is called micro pipette. So, in one word or in one sentence, what we can uh, differentiate between these two that macro pipetting uh, is an is a inter process where we use uh, different kinds of um, measuring apparatus uh, like beakers, um, uh, cylindrical uh, cylinders, um, all these kinds of thing made of glass and uh, plastics. We know uh, uh, we use in the lab. Uh, this is a macro pipetting, and the micro pipetting is when we are dealing with the very very little amount of uh, uh, liquid, and using a particular instrument that is called micro pipette. And in terms of handling, uh, basically manually, we uh, nowadays uh, there are two ways. One is doing manually that generally the molecular biologists do in most of the labs that we uh, prepare our samples, we transfer them using our hand. So these are the manual one. Another one is the automated one that is with the implementation of robotics and engineering tools um, and some computational tools. We instruct the program uh, or uh, to uh, further instruction uh, is given to the instrument uh, and, uh, and, and, and in an automated fashion, the entire uh, molecular biology reactions are performed using the micropipette. So in those cases, it is called an automated one. And here, basically, we will be discussing the micropipetting. Now, what is the purpose of micropipetting? Uh, basically, is the precision. Because when we are transferring uh, liquids in very smaller amount in this uh, laboratory work, uh, maybe in the microliter or in the nanoliter, 
uh, precision is very important because here uh, just uh, our observational measurement is uh, not enough to maintain the accuracy uh, next one we can see the reproducibility because uh, nowadays when any kind of experiment is performed uh, the scientific community needs to understand that what is the basis of that experiment um, and uh, to uh, reproduce that result uh, we know that science, science is all about uh, uh, reproducing the experiment and to get a particular results and from that we can uh, draw a rational conclusion so in that aspect uh, to reproduce um, any kind of uh, experiment uh, pipetting helps uh, overcoming the um, errors uh, and obviously one is the contamination we know because in the molecular biology lab basically we dealing with different kinds of microorganisms chemicals so if uh, we, like by handling all, all those instruments at a time if uh, any of any one of the sample gets contaminated so there is a higher possibility that our experiment is going to fail uh, on the other hand is the efficiency like obviously that more accurately we measure uh, the different kinds of uh, uh, substances in the lab uh, more chance that our experiment will be uh, less uh, uh, with error uh, so to maintain the efficiency uh, is another purpose of micropipetting uh, saving our time uh, another is the minimizing waste because uh, if uh, we uh, do any kind of uh, biological experiment in smaller volume uh, it helps us to get a bigger understanding uh, rather using uh, lots of chemicals uh, and uh, like uh, waste a lot of uh, byproducts so in that case uh, micropipetting obviously helps us a lot and finally obviously the safety because when you, you, are, you we are using micropipettes uh, basically uh, we are safe um, in handling uh, different kinds of potential um, hazardous substances because if it is of higher volume if it erupts obviously it can damage our body so if we use in a very very less volume uh, obviously there's a lesser chance that we will be get affected if any kind of uh, mishap happens um, and uh, two aspects uh, as we uh, discussed here uh, continuously we are talking about one is the microliter and uh, nanoliter basically in a microliter to convert the microliters uh, we will just a relationship is uh, one equals to um, uh, just uh, one by uh, 10 to the power 6 or 10 to the power minus 6 uh, microliters so if we just uh, follow this example that if we have uh, like um, 0 0.005 liters and we want an equivalent amount uh, of uh, that thing uh, in the microliters uh, then we have to uh, multiply it uh, and uh, with one by uh, 10 to the power uh, 6 to get that <coughs> value in uh, micro uh, liters uh, another uh, thing is a uh, nanoliter uh, which is going to the same in this case uh, instead of 10 to the power 6 we will use uh, 10 to the power uh, 1 by 10 to the power 9 or 10 to the power minus 9 so if in the same case uh, that if we have uh, 0 0.002 liters of uh, the equivalent volume um, uh, of something and then to uh, prepare an equivalent volume in the nanoliters uh, it will be uh, like 0 0.002 into 10 to the power uh, minus uh, 9 so uh, obviously we'll get it or w or on the other hand uh, we can multiply it by 10 to the power 9 to get our uh, desired volume so the conversion is from here uh, to, to liter to nanoliter so in normal arithmetic and algebraic calculations are done here that when we are going from higher to lower obviously we'll multiply and if we go from lower to higher uh, we will uh, divide and vice versa uh, all these things i will uh, discuss uh, in detail uh, in the live lectures maybe uh, with uh, while calculating uh, the particular chemicals uh, performing an experiment uh, now before pipetting one thing we also have to know that nowadays uh, micro pipetting is a 
is, is one of the most uh, significant uh, aspects because where the molecular biology experiments generally begin and that is why according to some others it is nowadays is called the workhorse of molecular biology so when we enter into the lab in molecular biology and uh, before performing such experiments uh, we have to be very uh, careful that all the necessary stops uh, are there obviously at, the, at, the, at that instant so that uh, we were uh, we are uh, we so that we don't make any kind of uh, like mismanagement uh, so that our experiment get affected so basically uh, we have to be careful because sometimes in a large lab research groups share their labs uh, or in a single lab two different kinds of uh, researchers are working or multiple researchers are sharing the same uh, substances or chemicals we have to be very careful that few things like uh, buffers sterile disposable items should not be shared uh, between two lab groups to avoid any kind of uh, errors like experimental uh, errors now what are the checklist what are the items uh, we have to um, check whether all these things are available or not is given in this link if we just click the, on this link we will see the details of uh, what are the things or equipments we should have mm, i suggest to go through it once so uh, we should have an idea that performing or beginning at the beginning of uh, uh, micro pipetting all these things we have uh, now basically here uh, micro pipettes is uh, as i already discussed it is uh, it is a tool an instrument uh, that we use to transfer uh, a volume uh, of liquid uh, defined uh, and required for a molecular biology experiment basically there are single channel and multi channel uh, micro pipettes in kind of structure uh, here we have seen that uh, there is a description of a, a micro pipette on the left side a single channel micro pipette uh, and its different kinds of uh, parts are may have been marked uh, basically we have to be uh, very careful that uh, uh, that micro pipettes uh, have are available in different ranges and most of the time the available ranges are 0.5 microliter and uh, maximum is 1000 microliter so uh, there generally there are four categories one is the p10 p20 p200 and p1000 p10 means it starts from that means this pipette p10 is able to measure minimum 0.5 microliter to 10 microliter maximum in case of p20 uh, it can measure minimum 2 microliter and maximum uh, 20 microliter in case of uh, p200 it can measure minimum 20 microliter and maximum 200 microliter uh, and in case of p1000 it uh, minimum it can measure 200 microliter and maximum 1000 microliter basically this uh, micro this word is uh, represented by this mu uh, symbol uh, one thing we have to be careful that there are different kinds of companies in the market who are producing uh, different kinds of micro pipettes. One thing is that whatever the company is, the functionality, the concept, uh, or uh, we can say the objective or the work principle is same everywhere. But uh, the design, uh, the display, the location of different kinds of parts like uh, the reading for the a reading window uh, along with the plunger uh, these locations uh, may be uh, different if we look whatever the uh, micro pipette we are using of which company uh, we just have a look uh, the entire have a look to do better to have a look the entire micro pipette once uh, to um, to see where the different uh, parts uh, are uh, located so your brand of micro pipette may vary slightly um, but your uh, functionalities are uh, uh, same and on the other hand a few micro pipettes are uh, like uh, uh, like differs um, in terms of uh, volume uh, mentioned here a slight difference uh, made there so we should not be get confused so before working uh, we have a better to have a look that uh, the range of different kinds of micro pipettes uh, present in the lab a person is uh, working in uh, on the other hand, uh, from the Wikipedia, if we, we can judge, judge, we have taken this that uh, these are the different kinds of ranges, uh, the minimum volume, maximum volume and color and tip size also given. So uh, shortly we will discuss about the tip and in the curve and basically uh, this uh, table uh, represents uh, a general overview of uh, the pipette ranges uh, available in the uh, market.
and uh, sometimes or maximum time these uh, colors uh, represents each size just like uh, in case of p10 uh, like um, uh, in p10 me minimum volume is 1 microliter and maximum volume is uh, 10 microliter and the color is red so if a particular set of micro pipettes available in the lab uh, the red just like while doing experiment all the time checking the numbers uh, with the colors it will be uh, easier for us to remember so if we need 10 obviously the red will be maximum for 10 so we can directly pick it up all the time just looking for or searching for the number um, now another important part is the pipette tips uh, if we just uh, go back uh, we can see at the end there is a called micro uh, pipette tip uh, at the bottom so this my pipette tip uh, is also a different types uh, basically it is a small uh, disposable uh, type of container type that is designed to fit with the micro pipette of a specific micro pipette and uh, helping us uh, for the accurate measurement of the liquids uh, basically uh, there are also different kinds of tips of um, available one is the micro volume tip for to measure 1 to 10 microliter uh, low volume tips from 10 to 100 microliter uh, medium volume tips 100 to 1000 microliter and finally the high volume tips 1 uh, to 1 to 10 ml of uh, or of a liquid uh, now in respective cases I have mentioned that generally the pipette we are using and the tip user you are using so when doing the experiment there is a set we take a specific pipette suppose we are uh, measuring we are going to measure uh, suppose 2 micro uh, liter of some uh, liquid so uh, we will uh, for the 2 micro liters uh, uh, we will use the P20 now if we use the P20 uh, and then uh, so we will use this micro volume tip the first one so whatever the molecular biology lab we are working uh, so there there are all different kinds of sets of tips are available so we have to select the right uh, tip for the right pipette otherwise there will be a, uh, a technical error or mistake in handling the uh, liquid so this one we have to be careful apart from the, the the tips mentioned there are different kinds of other tips available in the market uh, generally very specialized labs or depending on the particular type of experiment um, that a particular lab is involved in there may be some filter tips low retention tips uh, extended tips gel loading tips uh, reverse pipetting tips and uh, conductive tips so depending on the function or the requirement of a particular experiment these kinds of tips are generally uh, used now uh, the important thing is uh, right now is the setting the micro pipette uh, though we will in the next lecture we will uh, have a, a deeper understanding of this setting a micro pipette but one thing we have to be very careful mm, uh, people sometimes get confused with the p20 and p200 because in uh, p20 the maximum volume is uh, p20 and while working on the p200 uh, the beer minimum is uh, p20 so p20 is the common value um, so that is uh, why you have to have to be very careful while drawing the solution uh, so uh, which one to use for what for 20 uh, micro ml microliter of uh, solution i will discuss with example maybe in the next lecture and basically there is a common mistake as i mentioned sometimes we use 20 microliter or 2 microliter and uh, we make a mistake uh, on the other hand is significant figures if we uh, know our basic uh, numeric values from physics or measurement um, uh, uh, that there should be a standard um, significant figures that all the time we should follow if we uh, don't follow it obviously there will be a technical issue uh, while uh, measuring uh, volumes basically we will not be able to take the correct uh, volume from our required solution uh, and this uh, is better to understand with this uh, because of uh, this example uh, uh, because uh, the thing is um, and uh, this is a kind of uh, another aspect uh, um, when we uh, use uh, pipettes there is a common word called alicots um, this word is co commonly used basically we can think that alicot is nothing but uh, word we can say subset or part uh, suppose there is a, a drop of uh, 1 ml of water in the lab 
and from there we want to uh, take a pause 0.5 microliter from that one particular drop so in that case uh, we are uh, saying that we, we are actually uh, 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 telling that uh, we are taking an aliquot so when we are using aliquot that means we are taking part of something rather directly uh, taking the whole amount um, whatever the pipette is uh, there are two things uh, where we have because the numbers are different numbers are written and these are the two display points you have to be very careful one is the reading point that is on the left side uh, it is one two zero zero so here we will see the reading like after drawing the solution uh, we will see the values over here and this is the topmost view of the pipette uh, like where uh, we can see the range of the pipette that we are going to use prior uh, taking the uh, volume uh, now the thing is that suppose we are considering these are the set of pipettes on the left side and these are the if we just follow it up from the left to right that from the upper side the vision the the the, the vision and the view will be or the view will be like this uh, in every pipette there the range is given and a particular assigned uh, color is there just like in this set suppose it's p10 it uh, the range is obviously as i discussed it minimum is 0 0.5 and 10 microliter we have to be very careful range might not be written in the pipette so p10 we have to know that it can draw maximum 10 microliter and it is uh, written in, uh, given assigned with a ash color if we follow the next one the next range is 20 to 22 to 20 microliter uh, sorry it is 2 to 20 microliter so it is uh, written p20 so that means p20 is our uh, maximum here uh, and uh, yellow color is assigned and this is the point of confusion that i was talking about p20 p200 both are yellow and and one in the first uh, in the second case the p20 where 20 uh, microliter uh, is the mm, uh, 20 microliter is the, the maximum uh, whereas uh, in the next one uh, the 200 uh, microliter is the maximum this confusion i will explain with an uh, example and these are the uh, values uh, and these are the views uh, we will explain in next lecture uh, so th these are the views that uh, after while measuring or drawing liquids we will see so better to have a look on all this and to try to figure out uh, what is actually telling in the next class uh, we will discuss all of this thank you